in this presentation, I'm going to define liabilities and just go through a, a list to get an understanding of what they are. And here's a template that I have. It can be very useful when you're doing your accounting problems. Make a copy of it or some facsimile thereof and lay it down along your side your textbook for reference. So here, we got liabilities here. It's part of the balance sheet. As far as the accounting equation, we've got assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity. And assets are shown here and liabilities here and stockholders' equity, contributed capital, earned capital. And then off to the right here, I got net income. It's part of the income statement. All right, here's another template, it's same as the other one, only that it's expanded to include uh, liabilities are part of the financing activities of the business along with uh, stockholders equity section here contributed capital and earned capital and assets are shown as the investing part of the business or investing activities and then net income would be the operating activities of the business again the templates very handy when you come to do your homework project Okay, we'll go th scan through the liabilities here. We're going to look at current liabilities and long-term liabilities. And if there's anything that sticks out here, we'll make reference to it. All right, let's scan through the current liabilities. Yeah, everything looks reasonable here. You can understand these. Uh, you got all your accruals and payables here. Got to understand what they are, and then so that's our current liabilities. Okay, let's move up here to long-term liabilities. Okay, all right. Got to understand what deferred revenue is. Okay, and then you come down here to these accounts with the little C behind. Those are contra accounts. They work opposite what the normal account that they're representing. And then I also have the premium here, which I've got marked as a valuation account. That's sort of like a contra account, only working in the same direction. Okay, and then that's about it. So that should be a reasonably good list here for doing, uh, using as a reference for doing accounting textbook problems.